saw the sunset. Today there is no sun. Today the sun is buried, smothered, swallowed in a sea of gray. Today there is no light. The sky has devoured it. The sky seemed to devour us as well. And who would hold the sky at fault if it seeks our end? Again. There is no sudden outpouring of the furies of heaven. Instead, the storm begins a single drop, a plummeting messenger, whose voice with my windshield is resounding prophecy of things to come. Then his brothers follow, first but a few, then by the thousands, humbling my protective box of metal and glass. Then those furies are truly unleashed. Hammering the earth before night completely. Minutes pass as our vision is swallowed by the same gray that ate the sun. The roads are rivers now, pouring furiously forth down their paths, flowing into the drains that so ineptly try to drink them up. Will we too be swallowed? Have our crimes at last weighed so heavy on the overseer who has suffered them for so long? Will he once again blot man from the face of the earth? So great is his sorrow for our being. If so, I will not hold him in fault. He's borne too much already. The sky to the east is black as night, the storm continues on its path, but to the west stands a precursor to heaven, as the sun pours out over us, striking through the shards of cloud, the storm is left behind, resting to the north is a colossal pillar of light, a prism reflecting at once every color our pity vision can perceive. The oath stands. Ignoring our faithlessness.